guys, welcome back to Sim UK and Sim Airport. It's the summer holidays. It is loud as loud can be in this house. So expect screaming, banging, shouting, stomping. Oh my God. Any kind of unbelievably unlikable noise. Yeah, you're probably going to get to hear it today. More than likely. So... Continuing where we left off, I am surprised how effective this double runway thing has been. And I've been thinking about this. Um, these three gates here are our main... Sorry, these three gates here are our main three gates at the moment. But because of their positioning, I think this is the perfect overflow for emergency gate stops. So whereas at the moment we're using this gate as the... Um, What's it actually called? Let me just check here. The standby gate. So this is this is our standby gate at the moment, but I think these two would be perfect for standby gates. And then all of these can just be opened up. We've got over half a mil in the bank. Um, and I think security is strong. Ticketing is super effective. Uh... I mean, we're in a really, really good position here to um, really expand the airport without having to s spend too much money, I think. Imagine having five gates open. Well, well, one, two, three, four, five, six permanent gates with two standby gates and we're making, you know, we're making, what are we making at the moment? Let's have a look. Uh, reports, reports, reports. Look at this. I mean, we're making $318,000 a day. We, c we could double that easily. I mean, we're at, we're at the point now where it's just a case of get it all done. And, you know, it will happen. So there's no, <laughs> it's almost like there's no problems anymore. I mean, I'm sure there will be, because things will always go wrong, but um, let's, just, let's just speculate. How much would it cost to build this entire section? $648,000. Okay. No problem. So how much would it cost to build 176... 176,000 per section, plus that's 35. So I think about $300,000 per gate is what we're looking at here. Um, and we could just expand slowly but surely and uh, really accommodate that. I'd like to be able to build all the way up to here again. That's 600,000. I mean, we, we are literally on the brink of being able to do that now. Um, I think the the road sections at the front here, that's all working fine. Um, what I might actually do in storage is uh, just put some shelves in. Apologies if you can hear screaming and shouting. Oh, it's a shelf. Apologies if you can hear screaming and shouting in the background. That's my my beautiful daughter. Uh, she is on holiday. And as such, we all have to enjoy her company. <laughs> She's been an absolute pleasure, actually, today. I've been watching her all day today uh, whilst the wife has been at work. And she, honestly, we've had such a chilled out, fantastic wonderful day we really enjoyed it it's just been brilliant it's one of the best days we spent together i think um well not one of the best days we spent together because we've gone and done really cool things in the past but you know it's just her and me today and um it's just been fun we've just had a really chilled out happy day we've done fun things we've played games together it's been brilliant but now her mother's back and her brother's about and um, she just loves to wind them up and 
neither of them cope with it very well. <laughs> I guess uh, in this house you might say I was the authority figure, perhaps. Um, you know, if things get out of control, Daddy comes in and sorts it out. If everybody's getting stressed and angry, Daddy comes in and everybody goes quiet and behaves themselves. That kind of thing. Typical dad stuff. Nothing special about me, just that's my job, I guess. Or one, one of many jobs, one of many jobs. Anyway, sorry, getting distracted. So we've put loads of shelving in here. Weirdly though, they haven't put anything on the shelves, which is really quite annoying. Uh, so, I mean, that was a huge waste of money. How much are these shelves each? It's a problem when you got too much money. Um, a thousand dollars per shelf. Holy moly. -oh. Yeah, so I've just wasted what? One, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty. Uh, yeah, a little bit of cash. It's a problem with being rich. You know, you just, you just have nothing stopping you from doing whatever you want. I hope you can't hear that screaming and shouting in the background. It's... It only happens when I'm not there to deal with it. It's really infuriating. It really stresses me out. puts stress on me. Sorry, I don't want to... Oh, God, can you hear it? Jeepers. It's difficult to concentrate when I've got all that going on in the background. Let's get a gate in. That, that will cheer me up. That will distract me from the noise momentarily. Gate number one, 176,000. I was going to contemplate the possibility of having the this long runway. Because um, I know when I first started... You guys have been telling me constantly that um, you don't need to have um, taxiways at the end of the runway in the way that I've done it. I can't even see. Look, I can't even zoom out enough to see if it fits. That's preposterous. Um, so, no, I mean, that's not going to go there. If we extend out and buy some land this way, then maybe I can do that. But um, as it stands, that's not going to happen. So we're not going to have the, the big jets yet. And I'm not sure if we're going to go big jets down here or continue with the little jets. I'm not. I uh, haven't thought about it enough to have decided that. Let's get the necessaries in. That one there and that one there. Get the queues in. Oh, hang on. I've put those really low. Put those really low? Why did I put them that low? Let's try this again. Uh, so, yeah, just one above where I thought I was going to put it in the first place. Okay, that's fine. Uh, queues. One thing uh, I don't like about this game, I have to say, is that unlike uh, Prison Architect, where there's a wall here and literally no door to get in, people still manage to get here. And uh, that's a shame. I think, I think they ought to consider changing that if they're not already considering changing that. Because uh, it just it doesn't do much in terms of realism. But, uh, but you know, such is life, and life is such, so uh, those who are successful in life are those... No! No! Stop! Cancel! Cancel! Oh, just in time. Did you see what happened there? Wow! Just that slight slip there nearly broke security. Did I break security? Oh, that was so close. If that had broken, security would be done. 
Holy moly, that was so close. Goodness me. Yeah. Those that are successful in life are those who learn to adapt quickly. Where are they going? There's already somebody stood there. Why are you standing there, you pillocks? Right, this gate needs to be assigned to these. We can close that. And these need to be assigned to these. Perfect. We have another gate, guys. That's how easily we can expand this, uh, this airport now. Super, super easy. Um... Now, will this bench thing work here? It doesn't look like it's going to work as well. One, two, three. Yeah, it is. It is going to work, actually. Except I'm going to do it like this this time. And, um... Like so. And that way, when we come to the info heat map, instead of being at one end and not helping everybody, it will be smack bang in the middle and helping everybody in this queue. So that I think this is the right way to do it. Let's just see, compare the difference. See, look at that. That covers everybody in that queue area. That is definitely the way to do it. So I've done it wrong over here, effectively. Um... So let's do it right. Let's get in here and fix their problem. Actually, what I'm thinking is... I was thinking of putting a bin in the middle. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, actually. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. What I am going to do is... Um, Dismantle that gate and uh, get rid of this queue and uh, put another queue in. Oh, what's cool, I don't know if you spotted that, but where I removed that gate, this queue now automatically assigned itself over here. I bet you that one agent is now cursing me. I would be if my boss had just <laughs> doubled my workload. Gates assigned to that desk. Closed. That is a cool uh, livery. Assigned to. There we go. There we go. Right. Back to working order, I think. How are we doing? Everything seems to be running fine. The money is going up, even though we're spending. This is good, good, good. Good stuff. Right. Now, this, this is actually temporary, what I'm doing here. Um... what we're doing we're doing one up one down one up one down we're going info gonna smack bang the info in the middle do the same thing over here we're gonna have a bin in the middle like so oh but we can do that, just need to dismantle these things. I do wish the dismantle pop-up box would be a bit closer to the thing you're clicking on. That would make life a tad easier. But uh, this is all stuff that can come in time. Right. Oh, I like that. Let's go for that. Massive. Yeah. Perfect. That looks pretty awesome, guys. Um, we'll get rid of these, because they look a bit scruffy. I 
Am I at maximum warp? Yeah, we're at maximum warp. I can slow all this down now. I don't think I want to get rid of these bins, but I'm kind of doing it anyway by accident. Um, right. What are we going to do here then? So I'm liking I'm liking the layout. Oh, we need one more bin over here. This bin should be free. Yes, it is. Jolly good. Now, we can get some extra flights in. Look at this, nearly up to 70% here. Um, so let's go... What have we got? Nothing really great there. Okay. Uh, no, we haven't got a big enough gate. We've got a 707. What does the 707 look like? Is it this one? Yeah, 180 passengers, 707 in the morning. We'll take that and we'll take one in the afternoon. Okay. So let's close that down. I love that we've got these little pop-up things now. Much better. Much, 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 much better. And we've got gate C1. Perfect. We have two runways. So we ought to be able to have two aircraft landing at the same time, he says, thinking. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I'm going to do two in the morning, two in the afternoon. I think we'll start there. But that dropped again. Uh, no, no, let's... Oh, actually, yeah, we got quite a few spark jets. So, one in the morning, one at night. Uh, something in the afternoon. 7.47 in the afternoon. I'm not sure that one accepted. No, it didn't. Why didn't that accept? interesting it's difficult to get flights in at night I don't know if you've noticed it doesn't go up to midnight like it used to right okay so we can get another morning and another afternoon I'm pretty sure we can I'm sure we'll be able to cope with it so let's see what we've got one in the afternoon and uh, something in the morning. What have we got in the morning? Oh, they've got loads. Smart Air Deluxe. What have you got for me in the morning? 787. What? Oh my gosh, it's up here. 300. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we need a bigger. Ah, oh, pants. Need a bigger gate for that. Oh, I saw a 747 in the morning. What? A Boeing 747 in the morning? Requires a suitable runway and a suitable gate. Does 747 require a big runway then? I didn't realise it if it's the case. So we'll stagger that. I think, and we'll stagger that as well. Yeah, let's, let's stagger those a tad. 8.30pm, come on, one more in the morning, one more in the morning. Smart Air Deluxe, you've got loads in the morning. You've got to have something that we can flip in land, maybe not. Let's just move this over here a tad. Who else has got stuff in the morning? Juno Connect. All bombardiers. Atlantic International. 707 in the morning. Perfect. Let's get it in before the end of the day. Looks good. Now I don't want to overload this. In fact, I might start extending these to three hour slots and just, you know, ease up on the possible congestion. I don't want to overload the airport, but 
That is a whole bunch of... Oh, my God, look at our money. Look at our money. My goodness me. And I spent loads as well. So, I mean, uh, yeah, tomorrow could be interesting. Now, what I'm going to have to do is build an extension here, aren't I? So, what we can do, I think, is just this. Now, I'd like to think about this a little bit. But, really... Oh, really? It can't go... Now, I think, oh, no, I've put that, oh, goodness me, cancel, 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 cancel. So I meant to put it here on this one. Right, one, two, three, four. What? Cannot create that kind of segment. What the hell's your problem? Well, that was weird. Not sure what the problem with that was, to be honest with you. Now, the concern or the issue that we've got is you can't have two of these next to each other. There has to be at least one solid gap between them. So whilst that will bring luggage up, how am I going to get luggage back out? I seem to have got myself a little bit stuck. I'm guessing I'm going to have to chuck a hub in here. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. <clears throat> Although, I need to do pink to pink and pink to pink. So how the heck are we going to do that? Yeah, probably should have thought about this a little bit before I started building it, actually. Because I think I've done myself a bit of a doo-doo there. Now, I've got an idea. I've got an idea, lads. Don't worry. Right. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll dismantle that. I'll just speed this up a tad. I think I've wasted a lot of money on this. I, I, I did this the wrong way. Definitely did this the wrong way. Right. So, baggage depot. I think we're going to pop it there. like that and then we're gonna to have to get rid of this one and we'll figure out what we're gonna do with that later but for now look at that <laughs> they both landed at the same time that's kind of cool because we can do that now we can have two aircraft landing at the same time my goodness me look at this Wow, just having that one extra aircraft makes a huge difference. Feels so much busier. Right, nuts. I didn't move it over enough. Oh, gosh. <sighs> All right, let's get rid of that. And, um... 
think about this again. So I need to move this... I need to move that over by one. I do hate that that disappears when you click on this. It's such a pain. How are you supposed to know where you want to put it exactly? All right, let's see if we can figure this out. So this can come up to here and go in there. And then we're going to do one out here coming up. Does that make sense? Now I've just got to try and line that up in my mind. Like so. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, now this line can come... Actually, let's just run right next to the one that we've got. Not cause ourselves any unnecessary stress and aggravation. And we'll just extend this one out. Up to here. Build that there. This is going to break everything, isn't it? And demolish those two bits there. Right, full speed. Let's just see how that goes. Let's see how much... <laughs> How much we break the conveyor system by doing that in the middle of the day. Or first thing in the morning. Excellent. So, yeah, I mean, we could literally destroy uh, the baggage system completely in a, for the entire day with a, with a manoeuvre like this. Goodness me, I hope this works. Well, they're building away quite merrily. Uh, looks like they've already done this one, so we didn't lose this straight away, which is good. And uh, we've nearly got the second line in already. Well, there's actually quite a bit left to build. So maybe we'll turn that off and we'll just assign this to here. And uh, we'll unassign. Whoops. We'll unassign this from that one and add that to that one. And then we can add this one to here. Excellent. Okay. So now this baggage depot is serving one, two, and three. And this baggage depot is serving one, two, and will be this one. So that's actually gone pretty smoothly. I have to say, and we've expanded our baggage system quite successfully there. Excellent. So the only thing we need to do now is put a third baggage system in here, which is identical to this one and will run on the outside of this. And we'll basically do the same thing that we just did before again here. Uh, and then we'll have nine gates covered by the baggage system. Um, I think for these two big gates here at the end, we'll be building something else. I can't see this situation <laughs> really expanding much further. Um, let me just see how easily we can pop one in. Yeah, is that going to be enough space? I think it will. I think that will fit. Yeah, that's going to fit. Excellent. Well, let's 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 build it in now. I mean, why not? We've got the guys. They're uh, they're building already. Let's shell out a few extra quid and get it done. Ooh. 
like a dream. Look at that. And all we'll be doing is extending this out. So here, we had a few grumpy passengers there, and I don't know if you spotted that. Just see how this goes. <laughs> I'm getting a bit overconfident now. I'm just because we got like over a million in the bank, and you know we're just making more money than we're spending. It's a case of you know if it all goes horribly wrong, then I can fix it before it becomes a serious issue. Right at the moment, we've got no working baggage. We just need that fixed, uh, and then we'll have something. Luckily, it's night time now, so that's the end of the flights. Didn't appear to break any of our flights either. Look at that. Absolutely no disruption whatsoever. And look at, look at our airline interest now. That's boosted. This has been such a profitable um, episode. It really has. I've got a big fat smile on my face. This is the turning point, guys. The turning point. In fact, I think that's what I'll call it. The turning point. If I remember to call it that. So we just need this little section here. This and this built. And we have, we have got the capacity to baggage handle nine gates. And that is basically all of our gates done. We could turn this end one here into uh, an emergency gate or an overflow gate or whatever the hell it's called. Forgotten already. We could easily do that. Uh, and then we wouldn't have to run a baggage system to it at all. Or, you know, just one single baggage handling system would be able to do these two big gates plus that in one fell swoop. Easy PZOs. Look, we've we've still got three streams coming out this side, so I mean, I could actually build that now. Look, oh gosh, no, no, no. Why was I even on demolish? Right, I think that's all working. That just goes to show how easily, <laughs> how easily I can just balls everything up if I'm not careful. Right, we'll run it to about there because I'm not sure whereabouts I want to put this. Um, Baggage depot. This is a taxiway, so I might put it on here. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll think about that at the time. I think we'll consider that at a later date. So, guys, I think that's a good place to call it a day today. Um, we've just started day forty-three. Everything is running really smoothly. Uh, I think we need a lot of beautifying. I mean, this system is functional, but it's not exactly pleasant. There's quite a lot of rubbish accumulating over in this area. We could definitely do things better over here. And, um, yeah, I mean, we've got this whole cafeteria area that we want to build. So, uh, the gate system appears to be working well, he says, looking at the... Uh, stereotypical aircraft dance that they do the takeoff dance but you know it's running it's running really well uh, I'm I'm surprised at how well it's running I really am but I mean yeah look at this now this is absolutely flying how much profit are we making <laughs> oh, the game completely disappeared then. I hope that doesn't break the video. $468,111 a day. That's what we're making at the moment. So we're almost on that half a million uh, a day bracket. Look at these idiots, though. Unbelievable. 
They eventually sort themselves out, but oh my lord, it takes a while, doesn't it? I mean, I could just slam another medium runway here, buy a bit of extra land out in this direction, and then put the big runway in, something like that. Actually, uh, yeah. If I if I look at that, then that'll be another 20 minutes on the end of this video, and it's already 35 minutes long now. So I'm going to call it a day there, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the episodes. Hope you're enjoying the series. I think this airport is basically unbreakable now. I've said it. Now I've said it, it's all going to go horribly wrong. But... Oh, it's okay. It's not, uh, it's not assigned to a gate. That's why it's uh, given me an error. That's fine. Not a problem. So, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, goodbye.